New details emerge on what to expect for Johnny Ive's iOS 7. Nokia is considering refocusing their camera strategy dramatically, and BlackBerry's CEO clearly doesn't understand tablets yet. I'm Jaime Rivera, and there's a reason why nobody bought that BlackBerry playbook. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off talking about some deals. AT&T has decided to make your 2013 purchase a lot more compelling as they're now implementing a new trade-in program where you can bring your old phone into AT&T and they'll give you a $100 discount on your next purchase. Now, obviously there are some cases where you can sell your phone at a much better price on eBay, but if you think about it, there are some phones you can't resell that easily. So uh, take the trade-in. Now let's talk about some tech ironies. Thorsten Hines from BlackBerry was in an interview recently and said that it's not a compelling business to sell tablets, at least for the next five years. Apparently he believes that tablets will not exist in the next five years. And I'm just wondering what is the guy thinking? I mean, the iPad is currently soaring in sales and the PC market is currently stagnated. So it begs to wonder if this guy really understands why the BlackBerry Playbook did not sell. Now there is a BlackBerry tablet in their leaked roadmap, but uh, I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. So stay tuned. Nobody's actually waiting for it anyways. Now let's talk about Nokia. If you remember, there's a company called Lytro that built a camera last year that allowed you to take a photograph and then refocus wherever you want with software or within the camera after you took the photograph, not necessarily within the moment that you're taking it, which is kind of really interesting technology, but obviously it's not ported to mobile devices just yet yet because apparently Toshiba and Nokia have just figured out how to bring this into a mobile sized camera. So it begs to wonder if we will be getting something like this on their next device to be launched in May with their event being detailed. So we'll keep you posted with the news. Now let's move over to Microsoft. The UI previously known as Metro has proven to be quite polarizing and not as useful for certain applications like Facebook. Not everywhere should be Metro. And apparently Microsoft has just admitted defeat. They've just released a new beta for their Facebook application, which is actually separate from the real application that's already there. Both applications made by Microsoft, by the way, where they're stripping away the Metro UI and they're bringing the typical Facebook UI that Android and iOS users know. So far, it it looks kind of good. It looks like the way Facebook should have always been. But anyways, this is just a beta. Make sure you hit the links in the description for you to download this application and give it a try. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, three separate and reliable sources say they've already seen iOS 7. And apparently Johnny Ives' new baby is now focused on being much more flat and less humorphic, you know, all that stitched leather that you currently see on iOS. But apparently what's even more interesting is that, uh, well, that's the only thing that's really gonna change. It apparently will only change in aesthetics because the UI is gonna be pretty much the same, meaning that they're not gonna add any learning curve to current users. They'll just move to iOS 7 and be use the same iconic UI that you pretty much already know, which leads me to the question of the day. What would you like to see in iOS 7 if you currently are on iOS or if you want to switch to iOS? What would you like to see happen in the UI that would make you want to switch or either stay with iOS for your next purchase? In our particular case, most of us want widgets or something that won't make us have to jump from application to application. It's kind of boring to have to be moving around all the time, but leave us a comment down below what's on your wish list. And of course, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.